Hello crafty friends, this is card number 48 in my full deck challenge. I'm starting by adding white tissue paper to the face of the card. When I place the tissue paper down, I don't lay it flat. I use my fingers to move it around and to create some lumps and bumps. This creates beautiful texture. I'm using Mod Podge to adhere this to the card and then I put a layer of Mod Podge on top. You could also use gel medium or craft glue. Once the adhesive is dry, I'm tearing off the edges. I'm not using the scissors, I'm just using my hand and pulling gently. This creates a beautiful rough and rustic edge. To add color, I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz inks. I'm using the mini pad of the Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and then the spray in Brushed Corduroy. To get the mini pad in a liquid form that you can use like this, I just press it onto the acrylic block and then spray a little bit of water and then it becomes liquid and then I'll just press the face of the playing card into the wet ink and just let it move around. I spray a bit more water and just let the liquid ink just move around over the little creases and you can see how it creates beautiful lighter and darker areas, how it absorbs in some areas more and I think it creates a beautiful vintage feel. It's never too late to join in my full deck challenge. You can start at any time. We have very few rules. If you're on Facebook, please join my group. Just search full deck challenge group where you will get inspiration and you can also share your own cards that you have made. Also, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. We're nearly done with this challenge and then a new full deck challenge will be coming up with fresh new ideas. I also added a second layer of the vintage photo which is a darker brown just to enhance it and if I show you a close up you can just see the beautiful colors, tones and textures that have developed. I'm going to keep the embellishing of this card pretty simple with just a layered embellishment. I'm using my two inch round punch to punch a piece of vintage style paper that has some handwriting on it which I really like and then I'm using a black watercolor pencil I'm dipping the point in some water and just going around it very lightly just to allow it to pop when it when it's placed as the focal point. I then have a piece of cheesecloth that I'm just cutting down to size and taking off some of the frayed bits to give it a rough look and placing that underneath my circle. I have a pack of these mini playing cards. They were actually one of the gifts in a Christmas cracker that I opened and they are really, really cute and a perfect size. So I'm going to add that as part of the embellishment. And then I'm using some black thread, which I'm scrunching up and placing that underneath the circle. This paper is from a six and a half inch paper pad called Just Landed by Kikazo Crafts. This has just got all little travel wordings. So I'm just using this Follow Your Dreams. I love the dark gray. I think it suits the theme and it's a perfect size. Once I have all the placements, I'm also adding a little stamp and then I'm going to glue everything down with my hot glue gun. I really hope you enjoyed my video and were inspired to create your own card. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, join the group for the full deck challenge and I will see you again soon. Bye.